Thanks for tuning in. This is Jonathan Jenkins, and I'm going to be talking about how I was able to do the deadlifting that you're seeing. Uh, it's quite simple. Um, I've just uh, basically responded to a few comments that I've I've seen on this particular video, um, and it's actually quite comical because people are more amazed at my build than actually what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm doing, if you're an upper body amputee and you like to get into this, what I did is I went down to a hardware store, auto parts store, Army Navy, um, and I bought a toe strap. I took the toe strap down to a seamstress and I said, here's the dimensions that I want. And basically it's just two loops um, kind of sewn together. And, uh, and the reason why I figured, you know, I picked the toe strap is because if it can hold 2,000 pounds of a car, then I should have no problem lifting any amount, any amount of weight that I that I can. So as you can see here, I'm in the quarter deads rack because you want to do quarter deads when doing deadlift. And so there I got the strap, and I'm putting my arm through the big loop of the strap. The strap is pulled up past my elbow. Let's let's demonstrate it here. So you can see there's the strap. It's a toe strap, and there's two loops. Okay. So it's sewn together right there. And then you got the big loop and the small loop. And the big loop goes through the small loop. You just wrap it around the bar. And this works for lat pull downs, rows, anything you want to do. Cinch it up. And you just start twisting it. Okay, because you're going to basically want to put your arm through it, but you don't want a massive loop. You want it kind of snug around your arm. Rule of thumb also, the heavier the weight gets, the snugger it's going to want to be. So, as you can see, I pull it up past the elbow itself. Okay. Um, that way it's actually pulling on my arm, not the prosthetic. And you kind of give it a, um, a pull to make sure it's nice and snug. And here's a demonstration of me just doing 135, just kind of some warm-up stuff. Um, but this is why... It's more difficult for someone like me to do deadlifts in competition because I'm... See, all, look at all the amount of energy I'm wasting there. I'm wasting all that energy before I go and lift. As people with all their limbs, they just walk up and do the lift. And believe me, when you're trying to do... you got three lifts, three attempts to do a lift. And when you're trying to go up there and set a record for yourself, the last thing you want to do is to be wasting any energy. And I had a, another power lifter who came and talked to me. He's like, yeah, I don't know how you do it. You know, I can see how you're doing it here with your arm and stuff, but that amount of energy you're wasting, you know, I, I couldn't do it. All right, here's a bonus clip. This is for how I do military press, bench press. This is just a PVC pipe insulation. You can go to Home Depot and pick it up. They come in like six or eight foot lengths. Um, I cut it put Gorilla Tape around it, and then I took some wood clamps, you can use any clamp you want, and just clamped it to the bar. Now obviously this is so the prosthetic doesn't slide around. Now if you have a prosthetic that has, is designed for lifting or something like that, you probably don't even need this. But it's quick, it's cheap, um, it's easy to put on and off. Alright, well thanks for watching, hopefully this was informative for you. If you have any other questions, or maybe you'd like to see some different videos, please leave a, a comment down below. I'm definitely going through and looking at uh, comments, even from old, old videos. I'm going through and trying to get ideas. So thanks again. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell for uh, notifications because I plan on putting up a lot of videos ranging from you know powerlifting to guitar to how to hammer a nail and tie your shoes. Just whatever I can think of. Thanks a lot, guys.